Hi, welcome to the third edition of the string manipulation series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take an, an address like we have in our column A and then convert that to just the state. So this is an extraction. And what we're going to do is extract the state by looking at the commas. So uh, this idea was actually not my original idea. It was taken from the Dueling Excel podcast number 53. And I noticed that they solved this in really cool ways. And I'm going to put a link to that video in this description. But I, I was thinking that they would solve it with the formula that I'm going to use, but they didn't. So I thought, eh, I'll just make a Me Too video to sort of complement theirs in a way. So they had some great ideas on how to solve this, but I'm going to show you how I would solve it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is figure out what is consistent about all these addresses, especially as how it relates to the state. And the thing that I notice is no matter how many commas they have, so this one has four and this one has three, the state, so in this case South Carolina, comes two spaces after the last comma. So what I'm thinking is that I need to have a formula that finds the very last comma. And how we're going to do that is use a function called the len function. So I'm going to type in the equals len. My text is going to be a2. I'm going to enter. And that gives me 44. So that tells me that there is 44 characters within this string. And you might be thinking, well, how are we going to get the number of commas by looking at the entire string? Well, what I can do is actually subtract a substitutive value of this string without the commas. So what I'm going to do is go len substitute. My text is going to be this. My old text is going to be quote, comma, quote, comma. My new text is going to be a blank and no instance number because I want it to be done on all of them. So I'm going to hit enter. Oops, I missed a parenthesis. And that delivers a 2. So I can drag that down. You'll notice that now we have the number of commas for each one. And what we're going to do is use that number for an instance number in another substitute function. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to sub this comma for some other symbol. And that other symbol is actually going to be a marking for me to do a search on within a mid function. Now I know what I said is kind of convoluted and doesn't seem to make a lot of sense right now, but as, I, as we're working on it, I think it will start to make sense. What I'm going to do is use another substitute function. My text is going to be a2 yet again. My old text is going to be a comma. My new text is going to be, I'm going to use a single bar. And my instance number is going to be made up by this len formula. Okay, so as you can see, we now have a bar where our comma was. And what we're going to do is actually search for that bar within this formula. So I'm going to drag that down. And you'll notice that every time we had our last comma, we now have a bar. And when we only had one comma, we still have that bar character. What we can do from here is actually write in a search formula. So I'm going to search for that bar within this substituted text. And no need for a start number. So that delivers me the placement of the last comma. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that down. This comma sits in the 25th character of that string. This in the 28th character of that string. And so on and so forth. Um, so now what I'm going to do is actually use this search within a mid function. I'm going to go mid. My text is going to be A2. My start number is going to be made by this search. And then I'm going to add to because if we're trying to extract the state, we're not going to extract it from the comma but two spaces after. Number of characters is also 2. And I'm going to copy that down, and it should work. There you go. That's how you do it. Pretty simple method. I highly suggest going to the video in the description. It has really cool methods. And if you're new to VBA, it's a very good intro introduction on user-defined formulas. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and email me at xlsxgeek at gmail.com. I'm going to try to try to create a website in which you can download all of my worksheets. But I've been pretty lazy on that. And who knows when that'll happen. So again, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think with comments below.